In today's video, I'm hoping to improve my Watt to Air intercooler system. So let's go to the car here. Um, I think I made a mistake. So, water flows that way. And I take water from there, from the top. So, I'm thinking that this side should go there and that side should go there because then water goes into the top and goes to the bottom so i am getting some parts and going to swap this around to give you an indication um, as you can see water is flowing just not great so the first thing I did was I removed the tank system here and I just have this one which goes straight to the bottom right there which is warm water and then cold water goes there, there and then back and then the pump will float that way. Now I'm going to remove all these panels here to access the feed line on the water to air intercooler system so i can tap into it see water is now way more flowing so it comes from the uh what's this? this is basically warm goes into the cooler goes back there so what it does it feeds here which is warm water kind of and then it goes right into the pump and then the pump puts it back to the front of the car or back to the water as part of the upgrade, um, I bought this. Um, so this is going to replace my tank, which is currently in the front of the car, um, to the back of the car, uh, or the rear of the car, whatever you want to call it. So this is basically a swap pot. It says 19 mil in, 19 mil out, and then a cap with brackets. And this from AH uh, Fabrications. Um, I used to have this on my old K20 as well, and I decided that it was actually pretty good, and buy it again. So yeah, that's what I got. Got the um, tank here, and I'm kind of looking into where can I put this. I think if I put it right there, it could work. A few days later, I ended up pretty much using the same setup. Um, so this is warm water coming from the back, going into there, going in there, and then it feeds basically the bottom of the heat exchanger and both run for a bit um, and now I'm just going to connect my um, ECU and just want to see what the uh, intake temp is so it was about 25 degrees I'd say it was about 25 which was including in boost and all that kind of stuff so that's about 20 degrees above the outside temperature in a few days and um, I'm going to replace all the heater hosts and um, try to make it better. Let me go to the car here and uh, lay underneath to show you uh, how they go. Right. The way I did it was I went from the front on the gas tank and then back that way. Now I'm going to try to get over the gas tank so it's as straight as it can be. Bumper removed. Just checking see what I can improve as you can see the cooling is that way so I'm back in the car so it's 5 degrees outside and like I said I'm starting with 18 degrees of intake temp standing straight the traffic light currently at um, 23 degrees what I did was I moved my piping from that side to this side over here now I'm going to take my whole car apart and see if I can move the intercooler back to the engine bay. Here's the new um, water pump system. So this is a pump with the display and the controllers, wires, these two you get included, these two are bought separately, that one are bought separately together with a separate sensor, which is the same sensor as this one, uh, just a different thread because this thread is not what I'm using um, because it's too big. So I bought a small one with a small sensor and you get everything included. So this was pretty expensive, but this should be good for a thousand horsepower or so. 
This is uh, just a temporary solution for now. Um, the pump is sitting right there. So again, it's days later and I got the new cooler in. So yeah, this is a two and a half inch now. So like I said, it was like that in the car. This will actually work. Um, I, I actually measured um, when I was measuring the 27 centimeters or something like this. I measured that everywhere, but it's only at the front. So at the back of the car, or the back of the engine bay is actually smaller. To get you some details, um, so basically this is pretty much the smallest, I would say, which is literally, what's that? Well, this is the smallest of you, which is five centimeters. So, but let's say this side is 14. Then in the middle over here, it becomes slightly more. Oh, let me take my there go. It's about what was that 19 or so, but with those two sides, it will be 21. Around there, it becomes around 22, 23, and then here it's um, around 25. And the length, and this side is only was that 28 centimeters, but you have to calculate. Well, I don't, but other people might have to calculate in. The um, length of the adapters as well, which will come to about what's that, 30, 37 centimeters or so. Just got this one in. So this is the new heat exchange single pass, which means it goes and uses the whole, um, you know, whole surface area. I would say um, it does not matter where it goes in and where it goes out. Only kind of disadvantage I would say is that there are no holes which means I have to make them myself it is a big problem but um, it means I need to drill then this one compared to the other one comes with a um, pressure size here um, which actually came included with this 1.1 cap it has been some time now the car um broke with the accident um but i just wanted to show you the improvements i did while i was doing that so you've seen the new cooler um you can see the pipe going in there however something you can't see is that the pump is right on there so the pump uh, now sits i would say about 10 centimeters max because it's actually shorter maybe three centimeters from the um one side of the cooler and then the other side of the cooler goes back to the back of the car um, which actually makes this setup very short then at the other side of the um, the pump which you can't see um, it goes straight um, hose to the back of the car um, no bounce nothing um, it goes kind of like here over the underneath the wheel arch you can't see that unfortunately um then because i have all this custom wheel liners i made there's no way you can see that but um that's what i did with the front now at the back of the car there's not much difference compared to earlier videos the sensor for temperature is now sitting there i had that the other side didn't work and it's really hard to um, replace the sensor or mess with it kind of um, so i moved it to here um, disadvantage is that it takes some time for the water to flow so temperature might not be perfect but it's a water temperature sensor so it shouldn't be too bad um, the cooling it's not there so the pipe from the turbo and then in the back it's without C but there's a very short piping there three inch from the throttle body and the uh, blow off valve to the pipe and then um, this pipe basically goes just around it and there's a little or bent original pipe that uh, used to sit somewhere there um, and that's kind of how it sits now in addition to that I basically built silicon, um, piping and that's the air filter now it sits in here um, I had it open but I bought these scopes to kind of fill it up but as you can see filters it nicely there um, having all this space available uh, to get as much air as possible and then I built a construction um, which basically makes sure this is all covered 
and there's no air coming um, or getting somewhere else. You can see a gap on the right hand side, but that's because these arches are gone. So there's nothing to do that. Um, then it redirects all the air that's left over after the filter and goes to the engine bay, which kind of goes somewhere there. So that's the improvements I've done so far.